What is going on, fellow Liberty Lovers? So, I am working on this amazing fireplace. Check that out. And I just want to give a couple pointers. Um, the homeowner ran to go grab some more of these pencils. We were actually one short. So, I figured while the cat was the, away, the mouse would play and I wouldn't look so crazy. But uh, anyways, so if you ever do do a fireplace, first of all, you can see right here, this is a little bit recessed. Um, the material wasn't as thick, even though for the floor part, I used a 3 8 notch trial, right? You got a 3 8 uh, What I'm using for the wall, and I'll get into a little bit more of that in a second, but what I'm using for the wall, I believe might have started out a 3 8 no, this one started out a quarter inch, but just over the time on the slab, it uh, wore that down a little bit. You can see how the top ones are a little bit longer, or wider, or taller than the side ones. And that's because with troweling the cement slab to spread the thin set, it eats that those teeth away a little bit. But um, so what I ended up having to do because I wanted my this surface to be flush or even with this surface, I had to spread the slab and then spread the back of my material and then stick it. So this material, uh, the homeowner says this is a travertine and a marble. But as you can see, all the glisten, if you look at the white, you can see how it shimmers and glistens. I believe that's quartz crystals, and instead of travertine, I think that's sandstone. But, I mean, I've definitely been wrong before, and I know travertine comes in more than one shade. But typically, the travertine has more of a khaki and tan, and this, as you can see, is like a little bit of pinks and the veins and stuff. I mean, it very well could be travertine. I mean, I didn't buy the product, so, and, I, and, and you know... <clears throat> Those kind of things are just minuscule when it gets to the grand scheme. But so just a couple of pointers when you're doing a fireplace. What you want to do is you want to uh, see these holes right here. I ran a one by two slat of wood all the way across. I have a level right there. So I ran a level. If you don't have a level, you can use a, uh, that's a laser level. You can use one of these kind of levels. And you want to have that square. Also, uh, as you can see right here, is strips of cardboard. So you can have that board. Say your board is has a little imperfection and it's not perfectly smooth. Well, typically you want to use cardboard shims. And you could press on this and it will flatten. And so you want to make sure it's level. The key to anything, showers, backsplashes, fireplace, any of that jazz, is it has to be level, right? Because you want your corners to line up and you want your top to be even. Even, you know, uh, the, you know, you, you could say your surface could go at a slant like that, but overall you want it to be, uh, you want it to be level. You know, that's, that's nice up there, you know, it's, uh. It actually went from one and seven eighths to uh, two and an eighth. So it was, it was a quarter inch, a little shy of a quarter inch out of square, but uh, you can't really tell, especially from down at this angle. Now, uh, when we were originally measuring this, uh, we noticed that the wall went like that. That's the good thing about sheetrock. If you have any imperfections with your walls, uh, things, uh, you know, sheetrock will cover, and then you got sheetrock mud. But being that it did like this, I, uh, what we had to do on the side was, because see, uh, I can't get better on this side. We want this to be recessed in there. So when you get the angle, you don't see the side, right? But when you come in, you see this. And typically with your porcelain tile, you would see a unfinished, or you would see the factory edge, but it would be unfinished. So like the surface wouldn't look like that on the side. It would be like a, 
whatever color, right? Whatever color the base of the porcelain was. But the beautiful thing about this material is that actually looks like, you know, so when you're walking in, you can't really tell that that's not part of it. So we also had to um, put some on the side right here and on the back of this material because I needed to build out a half inch altogether. And um, as you can see right here, this is the woodwork. You cut that with like a multi-tool. Let me see. This little multi-tool right here. A little oscillating multi-tool. And um, that way you cut your tile and you make it like an L shape and it fits there. So when you're looking at it from the side, it sits behind your wood. You actually want to do that for your crown too. I haven't made it up that far, but I will be here shortly. I've made it up all the way there. Um, and then so for that piece, I'll just cut the sides, make my L shape, but I'm going to let it go a whole piece. So instead of cutting it down like this, it will actually just finish out. That way when you're about right here, it'll just give the impression that it's going all the way to the wall uh, or the illusion that it's going all the way to the wall, but in actuality, it's just a sheet. So you might be able to see from back here that it don't go all the way, but for the most part, it's going to look like it. Now, you always want to start on things like this. Uh, backsplashes can vary. It all really depends on the layout. It'll just, like if you can imagine the L shape and you're going to stagger your material like brick lay stagger where it's whole half, whole half. On an L shape backsplash, you would start in that corner. That way it's like whole piece, whole piece, half, half. Whole piece, whole piece, half, half. But say it, it was in a, a shape of like a U or something like that or a C or whatever. You would want to probably center your center wall. That way in both your corners, you would have the exact same cut on both sides. Symmetry is key and it makes it just look, you know, uniformed and best. Now, this um, client didn't want to grout. Uh, they like the look of it being ungrout with this material. Um, now, you can see maybe in some areas... The, the, the line is a little bit more pronounced than the others. Let's see, I'll give you a, uh, they just got a new rug, I don't wanna step on. So you, you see from right here, you can't really, you can't really see where they, uh, one sheet ends and the other one begins. Now, you have to remember that almost always when you get material on a sheet, that's why you see in some areas some lines, right? So like right here and right here, that material is sitting on top of this one. But right there, there's a gap, right? So, you know, it's touching right here, but maybe not so right there. So these things are, you know, obviously mass produced and whatnot, and they're not 100% symmetrical. So that's when grouting, uh, grout is the cement mixture, or it could be an... Um, uh, epoxy mixture uh, that fills in these cracks so that way it's a little bit more forgiving see like right here space but sitting on sitting on sitting on space you know and then so but together so and it's a hundred percent level but that's just the material sometimes they're just not a hundred percent lined up with one another now um, when you center it this way obviously you'll center it down like this and then when you do that, uh, your floor is always first. Anytime you're going to have like a tile go up on the wall, maybe not so much in a shower uh, because you will want your shower wall first, then your floor. But when you center everything, they all, I mean, they line up. I mean, that's like, you know, that's what we call a perfect. So... Um, yeah, we just had to cut this back a little bit. We, uh, went ahead and widened the, on um, the base a little bit. You know, you want to cut your, your woodwork, your crown, um, so that towel can sit back there like that. Um, and there will be, like I said, a pencil. This is, uh, what's known as a pencil. This is made out of a marble. 
and uh, that's going to sit right there and dress it up. My corners will be mitered, and if you don't know what mitered means, if you look at the corner of this window frame, you can see how that wood's cut on an angle. That way it looks like it's continuous. It goes up and then over, but the pattern lines up and matches around. So this will be mitered to where my inside of my stone will be cut like this, and it will just go down. Instead of, instead of stacking it, like have one here and then one sitting on top, the round of that piece won't flow together. So, but... Uh, this is the fireplace. Now, uh, I think today is day number, actually day number five. Um, I actually thought I was going to be able to do this in three days, but uh, just a few extra things we had to do, like build up the base, um, you know, spread the floor and then spread the material and then do the same on the side just so we can get that nice clean. I mean, you know, I'm pretty fortunate. My family's been doing this for 70 years. So I didn't really teach myself, I was taught. And so uh, I understand, you know, if, especially if this is gonna be like a DIY project for people, it probably would take a little bit longer, but uh, I try to make everything I do like perfect, 100% uh, perfect. Um, I mean, that's if, if, if you're wanting a project done and you want it to look better than what you see in magazines, I'm the cat you call. If you want something done and you just want it hurried up and done, you know, don't, don't, don't call me. You know what I mean? But anyways, so um, the TV will be going here. It's going to be a flat uh, art TV, which is going to be beautiful, absolutely stunning. And then there's going to be a, a, a mantle right here, um, which I guess has been a back and go on. But uh, if you can see in the kitchen how it's got the wood they want that to match right there, which I think is going to be beautiful. It's going to tie the rooms in together. And I just really can't uh, believe how well the colors uh, go. It's got like that um, light, you know, I see gray. The uh, husband of the homeowner sees like a, a blue, which you can see the shade and the light. You get a couple different tones. But uh, the rug, I mean, just everything goes so well. It's just... You know, very seldom um, do it, does it all just like go on the same color wheel. You know, something seems to like stick out and not flow right. But overall, I mean, everything on this is just absolutely beautiful. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I just thought I'd uh, show and give a little pointers. Uh, if you got a question, I'll definitely help. Anything tile related or anything. But um, thanks for checking out the video. Peace.